Hello guys, it's DB Grindy here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Sean Killian with 1550 rating versus Yamahan with 1041 rating, so this is going to be another high rated DB video, and we are going to go ahead and see Sean Killian decide to go first, 40 versus 41, opening hands we have Ball Drake, Sornier, Black Metal Dragon, Valor, and Saferd, they have Gamma Seal, Blue, Imperm, Red, and Foolish Burial. Okay, and also this is uh this is the player that won two ICSs in two months with Sprite. Uh, they won like the remote one with Sprite, and then they won the uh, Lima with Sprite. So they're gonna go ahead and start off with normal summon Saferd, Saferd discard Sornier, and then chain Imperm on that. Okay, uh, Sornier effect to go dump. And then Sornier is gonna go ahead and dump Lubellion, and then make Pisty, uh, Saferd effect. Banish itself, add back Lubellion, and then Lubellion effect, discard, go search Magma, activate Magma effect. It's like I guess the Imperm on Safer is worth it because then they don't get to spell End Trap. Uh, summon Magma, Magma effect, search during End Phase, bring out Lubellion, Lubellion effect, go ahead, bring out Brainet Beast, and then they're going to turn those into a seal. And then end phase, search Druid Swarm. All right, uh, pass turn, they draw right. Right, bring out the token, and then go ahead, bring out Fateful Adventure. And then they said that's okay. All right, activate Foolish Burial. Uh, Foolish can go dump Angler. And then activate Angler effect to go summon out Double Beaver from the deck. So Beaver, Beaver. And then we will get Fateful Adventure effect now. So it's gonna go ahead and try to search Draco back. Yup, and then activate Druus Round Resolution, Banish Pisty, Special Summon, Fateful Adventure to go search Monster, and then here they are going to activate Branded Beast, send the Druus Worm out the token, uh, Fateful Adventure still resolves though to grab and then discard Temple, and then they're going to go Druus Worm Effect to out Beaver, okay, so add Temple, discard Draco back, alright, uh, Special Summon Blue, Blue effect, then they're going to chain Valor on that, on resolution. They are now going to go seal effect, bounce back, branded beast. Seal goes summon out Fallen of Albaz. Then Fallen of Albaz, discard branded beast. And then make Lubellion, Lubellion effect, discard, put back Fallen of Albaz. And then put back Pisty, to summon Mirror Jade, we know this can dump Albion effect they said dragon link branded uh it's just bestial control uh fallen of albaz is broken the summon off seal because you get seal interruption fawn of albaz interruption mirror jade interruption like it's like three interruptions off a of seal you know uh then they're gonna go ahead that's gonna get banished yep then set temple end phase albion go ahead search branded regained then draw into the shrouded dragon and then they said that, I remember we talked about this before, and this was a one of in the deck. I forget exactly why, but it helps. Um, you can dump Fallen of Albaz if your hand is full of Bestials. And then also, you can use it to dump like Regang, so that way Trap can bring out Regang. You can end on both. So activate Regang, summon Bold Drake by banishing Albion. Regang, put back, draw, so now Mirror Jade's alive again, draw Red MD. Banish Lubellion, summon Red MD, Red MD effect, bring out Magma, Magma, search during the end phase, switch to attack, battle phase, go for game. Uh, then moving on into game number two now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we are going to get to see the sprite deck go first. Opening hands, we have Gamma, Fallen of Albest, Saferd, Imperm, Regang, they have Beaver, Temple, Starter, Faithful Adventure, right. Okay, so they open Imperm, Gamma, obviously you want to Imperm and then Gamma the opponent. Um, they open up three cards of the right package, which kind of sucks. You don't want to be drawing like too many of those cards. So they're going to go activate Fateful Adventure, Fateful Adventure Effect. I think it's okay to draw like two of them, uh, especially in that deck where you can like link off in the sprint and stuff. Grab Griffin, discard Temple, and then activate Temple Effect, and they say that is okay. So that's going to go search for Red of Aramis here. Activate, they didn't have Imperm. You know, maybe we would have seen a game on that. So, right one, Griffin two, summon Griffin, summon token, fateful adventure effect now, go search for Draco back. 
And then after that, activate starter. Starter goes summon, bring out blue. Then we're gonna activate the blue effect. Go search jet, you know, lose life points, but they were just in deck searching. And then special summon jet. Jet effect resolves. So jet, go search double cross. That card's nice. Then link off, go in the sprint. Sprint chain link one. Then they're gonna go ahead and do imperm chain link two. Griffin chain link three. Which, let's, did they actually have to Griffin there? I guess it's because they want to bring out bodies. It depends what they're trying to go for, right? Um, yeah, because I guess they want to go Gigantic and then Gigantic summon out like a carrot or something like that. Which I think is okay. Oh, you have the Bounce with Sprint and everything. And then they're going to chain Gamma and Griffin. I mean, this is still like semi okay it's not the greatest but we can set double cross I was gonna say you definitely got no wilson and beaver make a gigantic right and then effect detach special summon from deck i guess you don't have to go for this because you can keep this for follow-up but it's not really much follow-up when you have a right and then we're gonna summon out carrot pass they draw ball drake Ooh, okay uh activate reganged Activate Ball Drake, target blue. They said think. They could chain double cross to put it underneath this so that way they won't get a draw. Okay. They're gonna go ahead and do this so they don't get a draw. And then afterwards they're gonna go normal summon fallen of Albaz. Effect discard ball drake. Go in the mirror jade. Which is pretty strong. Uh battle phase, tack over token, effect, out carrot, main phase two. And then no end phase effect. Okay, so they side out the trap card going second and probably just side down to one branded reganged. Then they draw right. It's just so so many rights. Uh, maybe they play like a legal knight or something. So activate right, go summon out token, and then they're gonna go regang, summon back up the ball drake from the graveyard, and then activate fateful adventure. So fateful adventure. Go search out Temple, and then discard Draco back, Draco back effect to then equip, and then Draco back, bounce back Mirror Jade, pass. That is tough, especially, oh my god, the top deck magma, well, I was going to say, especially when they have safe root plus regangs, it's literally just chaos space for the baby dragons. But yeah, draw magma, normal summon safe root, then safe root effect, send ball Drake, Honestly, do they even play the baby dragons? No, no, they do. They do. They do. They do. They do. Yeah, I saw them one of the other ones. Yeah, I was going to say, there'd be no way, right? Um, Safer could still be a one of if he decided not to play the baby dragons, I guess. But fairly certain they do. Banish Fallen of Albaz, summon, then reganged, put back Fallen of Albaz, and then draw on the black metal. So, like, the seal is going to be really good again. And then they're going to link off, go in the dark. Sworn here, go dump. Okay, so they might just try pushing here and go for game. Safer, grab Lebelion. Lebelion, discard, go search Druus Worm. They only don't know the one card in their hand. Dark effect, go take Gigantic. And then activate Druus Worm. Banish Blue, special summon. Then activate Magma. Banish Jet, special summon. Effect, search during the end phase. Then get rid of Druus Worm, summon. Druus Worm out the token, so they did indeed push, and then just battle phase, attack for game. And GG's! GG, GG. I don't know, the Dragon Link is too strong. The missed defeat, lol for sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, especially against Sprite, like, going seal pass is, like, pretty decent. And then also having, like, you know, the option for follow up off of many different cards. Or the option for Fallen of Albaz to be like a, a interruption right then and there into another interruption. Like, that's pretty strong. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if one day we see like Fallen of Albaz in like a different deck that can like happen to make Seal. You know, the deck can make Seal consistently, and then you can go Fallen of Albaz in the deck. I feel like that'll come up one day. Um,. I feel like there was a deck that I was like doing that in like 
two years ago. No, 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 definitely not two years ago. It have been like a year ago. Huh. I don't remember. Wasn't that great though. I do remember that. The deck was not that great. But it is like a very strong interaction. But okay, seeing how long the match was. The match was about 26 minutes long. Pretty quick match. And with all that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.